The mentorship program is very powerful. That's why I'm going to pull it. <clears throat> you email us at brother, P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. Brother, polite 45 at gmail.com. That's what you do. So, again, that's Barron's newspaper and Kiplinger's magazine. That'll really give you perspective of what's going on with the economy. So you'll understand, I'm not telling you scary talk and not backing up why it's scary. Yeah, people say, oh, the dollar's going to fall. They don't give you no specific dates or times. What they should be saying is the dollar has already fell, but you don't realize because you don't understand hyperinflation and you definitely don't understand food inflation. As they give you less food, but it costs more money and they do it so gradually, one generation to the next doesn't feel it in the transition. So where you may remember what tolls were when you were driving, and you can feel the transition new drivers from the new generation grow into the hyperinflation not realizing this is way more expensive than it used to be. You know why? Because they was never driving. And it's the same thing with food inflation. Many of you that have been food shopping for years, you have a concept of what you expect to get for food and how much money. But as it's gradually growing in price and they give you less product, the new generation that starts food shopping doesn't have a concept that they're already paying too much money and that the money they're looking to retire into <clears throat> contradicts the goals that they have as far as pension is concerned. But it's hard for us to see 30 years down the line. It's hard for us to really realize, well, you know what, we think we're walking into some kind of retirement money, but because of hyperinflation, because of food inflation, we're really not going to have much of what we think we'll have. We'll have the dollar amount stipulated but we will not have the value that we think we're walking into that's the problem that's the problem <clears throat> you know people say man you're doing all this showing off you're showing all these fancy cars and expensive clothes and you're hanging out with all these women how is this helping us but then they act like I'm not here teaching the whole time when you going to teach again when are you going to go on the social media and realize you could go through hours of footage of me teaching so don't tell me a picture here and there is throwing you off versus hours of me speaking and teaching so that's what I'm telling you when people see material forms of success they actually cringe because poverty has destroyed their sense of humor and humanity Poverty has destroyed their sense of humor and humanity. It's a fact. It's an absolute fact. <clears throat> I'm not going to lose my sense of humor. In fact, I'm going to gain it as I go. And as I come up, I'm taking the time out to take other people with me. Then, you know, people say, well, I don't care what you got. Show me some other people that got it. <laughs> That's why I'm mentoring people directly. Now, since you're so concerned, join the mentorship program. But it probably hurt you to separate yourself from your dollars. To give it to another brother, knowing that some of that money may actually go to him for providing a service because it should absolutely be free. Because I'm conscious and you conscious. I don't live by those rules because nobody else does. No other community is living by those rules. <clears throat> That's right. So don't expect me to do that. I'm not with all of that. I'll tell you in a heartbeat, I have to be paid. Because when I start playing that philanthropic role, when I played it before, I almost lost my family and everything I had. Doing so much free work for my black conscious community. And I got the pat on the back and the black power fit.